I think it is God's work and I just get filled with a joy going out and helping people. It's just who I think Christians are and what God wants us to do. Back then, I was just a guy with a pickup truck. When the call came out, they had mentioned, we need guys with pickup trucks that can move furniture. So I did that. I felt like I could do that more. So we're going to do the co-sponsorship and we'll follow Felisa's family. And now that we've gone through, we're gonna do another family. This is my mother, Melissa. <laughs> American mother. Yeah. <laughs> when I go to visit, I always bring food because that's to me a way of welcoming people. She calls me mama. <laughs> this is food. Okay, mama. So that's lasagna. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And we just talk and laugh and just make her feel comfortable about being here. And I think it's giving her a sense that she's not here alone. There's a whole whole group of people that care about her, that want her to succeed in the United States. And I think that is half of what we do, is letting her know she's not alone. Here, you get it. Woo! It's yeah. just pure joy. <laughs> it's made me more curious about people coming from that country. They're just like you and I, except they've had a different background. Because everybody cares about their kids and wants them to be safe and you can give that to somebody. I speak to people from all walks of life and all political parties, lots of different Christians who think of Christianity totally differently. I speak to people of the Jewish faith, of Muslims, Buddhists, uh, Hindus. The title of my job is faith and community engagement. The Lord seems to provide the time you need to do whatever you want to do. So if you'll lay it out there, you know, you find time to do it. I know a lot of guys that pick up trucks and they can lift the other side of the couch. It's that easy. So step up, help out, do what you can.